Mastering Patience, Understanding, Waiting and Seeing. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an interesting and very useful phrase in the English language, waiting and seeing. This phrase is a gem in conversations, especially when talking about future events or outcomes that are uncertain. Stick with us as we break down its meaning, usage, and share examples to help you incorporate it into your English communication effectively. Let's get started. Waiting and seeing is a phrase that combines two simple words, waiting and seeing. At its core, it refers to a situation where someone decides not to take immediate action or make a quick judgment. Instead, they choose to wait for more information to become available over time before making a decision or forming a conclusion. It's about patience and allowing events to unfold naturally. This phrase is particularly useful in scenarios where the outcome is uncertain and rushing to decide could lead to mistakes or missed opportunities. Here are some common situations. Making decisions that require more information or time to assess. Discussing future events where outcomes are unpredictable. When advising someone to be patient and not jump to conclusions. It's a handy phrase in both personal and professional contexts signaling that you're thoughtful and prudent. To help you understand how to use waiting and seeing in real life conversations, let's look at a few examples. 1. Planning a trip. The weather forecast isn't clear for next weekend. Let's wait and see before we plan our camping trip. 2. Career decisions. I'm not sure if this job offer is right for me. I think I'll wait and see if something better comes along. 3. Investments. The stock market is really volatile right now. It might be wise to wait and see before making any large investments. These examples show how waiting and seeing can be a strategic approach in various situations. Mastering the art of waiting and seeing also means improving your patience. Here are a few tips. Stay informed. Keep gathering information to make a more educated decision when the time is right. Practice mindfulness. Stay present and avoid overthinking future outcomes. Keep busy. Engage in other activities or tasks to distract yourself from the waiting period. Patience is a virtue, especially in a world that often demands quick decisions. And there you have it, folks. Understanding and using the phrase, waiting and seeing, can greatly enhance your communication in English, especially when dealing with uncertainty. It's a reminder that sometimes, the best action is to take a step back, gather more information, and allow things to unfold in their own time. We hope this video has been informative and helpful. Don't forget to practice patience in your language learning journey and beyond. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.